Welcome to Busia County, which has approximately 700,000 people, mostly farmers. My mission here is to find out how mobile phone applications are game changers in identifying various plant diseases. Leave that does not look healthy from the bottom of the plant Area. and press start. Here, I meet farmers receiving training on how to use the new application, which has brought relief to many of them in this region. Kama umefuata tu taratibu jinsi tulivyofundishwa, inaweza kukuambia ya kuwa tau hilo lina ugonjwa wa cassava mosaic, matau mengine yana cassava blight. Lakini uki uki focus, uki onyeshe ya tau yambaro eh, liko safi, yani naonekana ni kama inaafia, for a long time, farmers have had difficulty distinguishing crops diseases which caused low yields as well as income. Inatambua pia ugonjwa wa mahindi kama ule mdudu inaitwa fall amiwam. Alafu pia mmea wa viazi vitamu sweet potatoes. Lakini wanaendelea kufanya utafiti kwa mimea mingine pia. Na hatukujua magonjwa sana sana ambayo yanaathiri mahindi. Lakini tumefundishwa mengine yao walikuwa nafikiria tu ni labda jua imechoma mahindi ama mahindi yako hai ilikuwa ya grade ya hiyo na bila kujua kwamba ilikuwa ni magonjwa. Would you like to learn about cassava diseases in your region? Yes. Currently, more than 1,000 farmers have benefited from this application program, known as Nuru Plant Village, which was developed in Penn State University, USA, with the program expected to be championed in all agricultural counties in the country. As you do the uh, diagnosis, it actually guides you. It tells you what to do next. When you've taken the first picture, it informs you that the picture has already been recorded and it instructs you to take the second picture, the third picture, all the way up to the sixth picture. And then when finally it makes a decision and tells you that this is either cassava brown streak disease or it is a cassava green mite or cassava mosaic virus, then it goes ahead to offer you options for how to manage it. Agriculture is one of the pillars in the government's big four agendas and there is need for such methods to be used to realize the agendas. So these diseases spread very fast because they spread both by the cuttings when the farmers buy cuttings from one farm to another and they also spread by vectors, um, especially uh, white fly. Uh, it has been a bit difficult to manage them because uh, one of the things the farmers need to to know before they are able to manage these diseases and pests is to recognize them, to identify them and to correctly diagnose them. According to the Sustainable Development Goals, under goal number two, Kenya should ensure zero hunger on its citizens by the year 2030. The majority of the world's hungry people live in developing countries where 12.9% of the population is undernourished. The only interesting bit is that you need internet or bundle only when you're downloading the apps. After you download the apps, it's actually stored on your phone. Uh, you can actually even forward it, can actually even print it, can actually even uh, store it. So it's, it only requires, and they're very light. Actually, they're very, they're in KBs. Believe that does not look healthy from the top of the plant, then press start. Kenya is among the countries in Africa that has embraced modern technology through mobile phones, hence challenging other countries in Africa and the world at large. Ni simu tu ya kawaida. Ispokuwa una download iyo nuru plant village. Ukisha download hiyo, sasa hiyo ndiyo nafanya hii kazi ya kutambua maradhi. Lakini vitu vingine vyote simu hii ni simu tu ya kawaida. Touch screen. Tuna ujasiri na tuna ukakamavu kwamba sasa ya hiyo shida tumeondoa kabisa. Hapu hii tatusaidia pakubwa. Various counties through the agricultural departments have been urged to embrace modern technology in agriculture to improve productivity.